What's up, everyone, and welcome to... Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, what's up, everyone? This is Chuggo, and welcome to In The Room, the video series where I try... F*** this, man. This is... It's a little bit too hot. Okay, let's just go back to being blonde. That kind of just sucked right there. Oh. What's up, everyone, and welcome to In The Room, the video series where I try a guitar rig and try to capture how it sounds in the room. Like if you would be here, you the viewer out there, that you would be here right next to me listening to the same amplifier. And I'm doing that by incorporating a couple of different stereo microphones and some closed microphones, as you can see here. And then, you know, the results may vary. Just saying. So today I'm trying out the Fortin Satan. And now this is my first actual prototype of my signature amplifier, uh, which would later become the Randall Satan. <laughs> Satan. And this is hand built by Mike Forden. I tried one of his Forden Natos back in the day. And, uh, you know, I like that amplifier a lot. But for this one, I had a couple of changes being made. I added a sweep knob. The girth and the grind range is way bigger than on the original Natos. And it, it, it's something else, all right. It also came with two KD88s and two 606s. But right now, I'm using four Tungsol 606s right there. Uh, the Tungsol are amazing when it comes to 606s, so you're gonna hear that in a minute because, you know, I, I know this is gonna be sound... I, I, I know this is gonna be... I, I know this is gonna sound good right here. I'm using this Solar AB1.6S going into a Boss noise suppressor on the floor, an Ibanez Tomb Screamer that I might engage later into the Fortin Satan, into a Fortin cabinet. The microphones I'm using... The microphones I'm using is a Shure SM58 right there an Austrian Audio OC18, a Neumann TLM 102 over there, a Bayer Dynamic TGI51 over there, an ORTF stereo over there, and a LeWitt stereo over there. Okay, are you guys ready? I am. Let's go. Sorry. I've been out working in the garden today and I'm, you know, I'm weak in my arms. Just saying, I've been shoveling dirt. So I'm a little, uh, I'm a little weak. Sorry. <laughs> It's extremely chunky, man. I mean... So you have the girth and the grind, which are basically like pre-filters for the distortion, where you can, you know, decide if you want to make the sound more tight, more uh, bassy, or whatever you want. Grindy. <clears throat> Let's try it out. Pretty grindy, but I like having it at 12 o'clock right there and somewhere here, you know, that's just like it's the spot. <laughs> you also have a kill thing happening here, which adds yet another gain stage. You can hear it in the noise, even. <laughs>
I mean, that response. It's very nice. If you want to use an overdrive, I'm going to try it right now. I'm going to dull down the grind and the girth a little bit. So it sounds like this. Okay, engaging the TS9. Just a shit ton of game, man. Maybe I'll just, yeah, okay. <laughs> Overdrive off. Yes. Do I have time to drop? All right, dropping real fast. Fast dropper, fast drop, fast dropper, fast, fast drop. I mean, come on. The cool thing about the girth and the grind is that depending if you have like a, if you have an eighth string, you can dial back the girth even more. So you can, 
really get that low note eight string flute kind of like bat 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 bat, bat sugar style, you know, like this, you know. It becomes almost too glassy for me, but I like it here, man. I like it here. Check this out. Right, there you go. That's the Fortin Satan for you right there. How did it sound in the room? I have no idea. I will only know after I've listened to the recording. Anyway, which microphone did you like? Let me know in the comment section. Everyone, okay? If you like this video series, maybe you can give me a suggestion. What do you want to see next? Any amplifier you want to see in the room? Let me know. Comment section. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye. Oh, that's the camera. I should be looking. Hi, how are you doing?